My name is Katie Posey. I am the program director at the Ketchikan Area Arts and Humanities Council. The Main Street Gallery is a program of the Arts Council. The January exhibition at the Main Street Gallery is an expression of natural light. And this exhibit was created by the Program Development Committee. This year, we had space in the Main Street Gallery's season, and they decided that it would be an amazing opportunity in January, our darkest month, to create an exhibition for photographers to capture light and bring it into the Main Street Gallery so that people who needed a lift up could come in and be lifted up. I was really impressed and excited with all of the artists who participated in this exhibit. The, we have emerging artists, people who've never exhibited before. We have um, mid-career artists who have um, exhibited once or twice and they're definitely dappling, which is beautiful to see and watch and experience. And then we have some really amazing professional photographers as well. Hello, uh, I, I'm Adrian Rubin. Um, this is my first time submitting artwork into any showpiece. Um, I was drawn to photography, I think, because I live in Alaska and it surrounds us everywhere, the beauty. My father is a huge artist, so I think that instead of painting, I think I kind of try and take still images of kind of what's around me at that moment when it's happening. Um, the reason I decided to finally submit is, ironically enough, just because my aunt, Judy, um, who is also an artist, for my birthday sent me uh, framed photos of mine because I, I've been told multiple times that I should enter my photos. Um, I have an eye for photography. Um, and I was just hesitant. And once they were actually in front of me, framed, I realized, well, I guess maybe it is something. We had two actual photographers who had no idea how to get their pieces printed professionally, and I walked them through that process. And um, it was pretty exciting because they were like, yay, because now they can see their pieces um, large and um, not on a screen. And so that was really a fun experience. I'm Janelle Gage. Um, many people know me as, by my maiden name, which is Minnick. I went to school here and I went to college in LA for fine art photography. I've been taking photos of the pier. I go down and I'll take a thousand photos and, and just constantly take photos of one section or one part of town and um, half of them will just get trashed until I find one I like. Um, same with Ward Lake. And I, I like to look for things that people aren't paying attention to, things that disappear. I am an emerging photographer. I um, have exhibited at the Main Street Gallery before, but not as a photographer, as a fiber artist. And um, I really was excited when we were creating this call to artists and um, thought that it was a really wonderful opportunity. And um, I immediately started envisioning how to capture natural light and how to share it with everyone. And um, I submitted three pieces and they are amateur emerging artist photography, but it, it was fun. It was really fun to go through that whole process and sign them and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do a lot of sunrises and sunsets. Um, I find it a little easier to focus on photography if you're kind of by yourself. And there's not really a lot of stuff going on around me because definitely there is a difference, I can tell, in my art or photography when there's a bunch of commotion going on and when there's just like me and the sunrise or the sunset. In the dark, dark winters, those are the best sunrises. So when you're feeling really, really sad or you're kind of feeling down, when you make it there in the morning and you see those colors, um, it's amazing. Like you realize that it's not all darkness here. Like there's so much beauty, you just have to get up and do it. Half the time I don't want to, 
But if it's a clear day and the temperature's right and all the chemistry and everything's perfect, I'm definitely going to be out on the dock or at a beach trying to capture it. Ketchikan is a beautiful community and it is also depressing sometimes in the middle of the winter. And I find that um, it really helps me to go outside and to get fresh air and to reconnect with nature. And I really enjoy taking photographs of nature. And I find that every single time I go outside, I'm happy I did. It doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's dark or if it's gloomy or if it's snowy or if it's icy or I just try my hardest to remind myself that it is worth it and those opportunities and experiences increase the positive and decrease the negative and um, I think that getting out is really important. This one's off of birth uh, four and it's Deer Mountain and it's the looking down the um, towards the south end of town as the sun's coming up. And it's right during that time when it's just like your darkest part of the year, but it's also starting to get lighter. I actually love the dark. And I like when things don't quite pop, like, you know, like when you're looking at an image and it's dark, but there's all these little things that just start to pop out of it that are lit up. And, and the more you look at it, the more you find stuff. Um, in this particular image of Deer Mountain, the mountain is very dark, but when you get in there, if you really look, you can see the Christmas lights in town, and you can see the tower lights, and uh, the boat lights, and the add to the sunrise. I had seen the exhibit Expressions of Natural Light, um, and it did draw to me because I do sunrises and sunsets, which are some of the most natural lighting that you could possibly have. Um, a lot, um, I do have a tryptograph that is definitely more gray based. Um, and that I think brings more out like the, the natural foggy kind of underlining light of Ketchikan. Um, and the reason I entered it was like I said, once I saw them there and I had them in my hand, I realized that I probably would want to share it with people. The colors in Southeast Alaska are amazing. They, they look like candy, candy sometimes, like bright, vivid colors. Um, sunsets I really enjoy. I like a lot, I think, of the depth, I think, of kind of the, um, Oh, what is it, kind of the landscape, the dark with the light behind it versus everything getting light on it during the sunrise. Sunrises, I enjoy more for the solitude, I would say, and sunsets, I think it's more, um, I don't know, like the relief of the end of the day. I've, I mean, it's, um, the colors can be so different in the sunset versus the sunrise. Um, and both have significant beauty and you feel small, I think, compared to the world, which a lot of people feel like the world's huge. Um, and when you put yourself in a situation where something's more significant than anything else going on, I think it humbles you and it brings happiness and a calmness and a stillness to your heart, at least for me. Um, and that. That's definitely what I think I focus more on with my art. When I moved to Kotzebue, I started um, just photographing, you know, and, and um, it wasn't until I started doing the stairs on the totem poles. The totem poles gave me peace. There's, there's something about things that start to disappear in our, in our world. Um, it's kind of like dementia. It's like you, you, the older you get, the more things start to disappear and you, your memory remembers it, but it's, it's that. And it's like, to me, it's like, oh, I gotta catch that. Um, but that past that I remember and my current position 
have to coincide. And so the, uh, it's become more of a like a exercise in um, making people see um, what I see. What I would like to communicate to any and all emerging artists is the Ketchikan is a wonderful community. It's a vibrant, artistic community that is extraordinarily welcoming and non-judgmental and there are so many opportunities to express yourself and to be included. All of the calls to artists that we can find are posted on our website. There is a wonderful tab on the front page called artists with every artist opportunity that we can come up with and find and look and locate calls, open calls to artists for our Main Street Gallery as well as calls to the Commons Gallery and international calls and statewide calls. And it's all mediums and all career levels. So if you're interested in art and participating um, and not participating, I encourage you to call, check out the website and just um, get involved because it's a lot of fun. I don't have the patience to do the painting. I really don't. I'm too much of a perfectionist. And with photography, it already is kind of perfect. You just have to get it at the right time. Divine timing, always. <laughs>